Platform Volume 2, joined by OTA. Guys, appreciate you sitting down with us, and we're really excited to have you as a part of the uh, Platform Volume 2. Um, I'll start by asking, you know, where, you know, the the music uh, has started for you two as a duo. I mean, Chez and I have been listening to music together for, well, how long now, you reckon? Year 9, 2014, 24. something like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. a long time so ago. So it started a while ago. So you guys um, started just listening to music together, not really making music. Yeah, we we didn't want to. We didn't know we wanted to be artists back then. Back kind in of high thing. school, <laughs> yeah, no, just no, no, didn't have them high school rap dreams. Like, no, I mean myself, I've been doing a bit of writing. Yeah, here and there, just storing it, storing it, and then I uh, think, uh, yeah, not long after high school, I, I was uh, showing a couple of mates, including. Cesare and then uh, Cesare he caught on to it. He's like, "That's sick." Yeah. And then uh, yeah, came around with something of his own. So I guess 2015 is when it when it started. Had you because obviously so so you were you were kind of writing under the covers and just kind of like yeah doing this on the side. Mm. And then Ches over here hadn't been doing any of that. No. Was that the first time after you were like, oh maybe I can do this? First time I had never tried mm. to write anything anything before. And how did that come out? Like you're like. And it's it's one of those things. Is it have you guys like pushed that those first like couple of releases under the couch and no one can find them anymore, or do you have them out there so everyone can actually get Let's to? Let's just say there's some that weren't releases. <laughs> they were recorded at SAE, and they're, okay. and they're out there, but we're not called OTR. And yeah. they are next level trash. <laughs> <laughs> you have to start somewhere oh, though. Oh, next, no, hundred percent, hundred percent, new thing. Uh, so we released our first mixtape in mm-hmm. 2017. That's still on SoundCloud. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's the first official release. Where, where would you guys start, say you kind of get your sound? You know, I think it's very, um, it's a very eclectic, interesting sound that you guys have as a duo. Where you, where did you kind of pick that up? What do you mold it after? You always go back to the past, right? Like the things you're listening to when you're younger. Yeah, 100%. Uh, the golden age, even before the golden age, mm-hmm. 80s stuff. Well, what are we talking here? Run DMC, right? yeah, like that. The back and forth, yeah. Uh, Tribe called Quest, and then you look towards the Outcasts, and then you look towards the Chance the Raptors today. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like this stream of influences, and then like a, like, I guess you say a modern energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the modern energy, I mean, like uh, in terms of like how we put out the fish shows and stuff, like like we get we get like Run the Jewels come like coming back to us comparisons yeah. and yeah. stuff yeah. like mm-hmm. that you guys sound is run the jewels are one of the most underrated uh un- underground hip-hop groups i think of all time they they're getting their clout though they did they did headline they're they're headlining some festivals now mm-hmm. they're headlining they headline falls they're doing the big like euro festival yeah. runs this year they got some clout for like some guys in their mid-40s i reckon mm-hmm. but, yeah what is it on stage that you guys bring that you think, you know, kind of separates you and, 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 and the, the direction you want to go with your music? Because Platform is all about that stage performance and kind of bringing the energy from other artists and the people in there want to kind of really, you know, it's, it's an education for the people of Perth and, and where we're doing it to find new artists. So for you guys, what are you bringing to the stage that you think is going to like separate you from everyone else? What a point of difference. What are you... Yeah, I mean, it's not just that the reckon? music's different. It's I I I think there's like energy with the like like we we always practice to like to like the max yeah. like like but, but we we basically practice the way that we want to play play. Mm-hmm. So when we play, like like yeah, we put it all out there. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> tell me, I want to know whatever you're laughing about. I need to know. I've just seen this guy. Uh, he just pulled some stuff out of nowhere on stage. I wasn't even ready. <laughs> It no warning out, for you. It comes out. Nah, and I'm like, it all, it all and everybody just turns it up. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. it's it's the back and forth. It's the heavy funk and soul influence, and, and it's with a and it's with a live band. That, yeah. that'll be our point of difference for sure. Where, where do you guys produce your music? Thinking about performing it, or do you just produce it how you want it, and then after you go, all right, this will be a great one to perform. This has got that energy behind it. I think beat wise, um, I don't like to limit myself. So whatever 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 sounds good mm-hmm. goes like it's got to be like that but i think uh lyrically we've started to consider a bit more yeah we, we've gotten some into some terrible tongue twisters on stage like yeah we've got verses with no breaths and realized on stage it's like oh this stuff like, i can't do this live wait a second yeah or like it's like it's like 
we've had to really concentrate on getting a back and forth correct so that someone can have a breath somewhere yeah, in the yeah. middle of what they're doing. So ever since yeah. then, to sort of make it free flowing and to you know enjoy enjoy ourselves on on stage, mm-hmm. myself at least, I make sure like when I'm writing, I'm always sort of considering how it's going to come off, and that way you know you can have a dance in the middle yeah. of your, in the middle of your verse. I'm always <laughs> interested when when I'm talking to duos on the process of actually creating the music because. You know, when you're talking to an artist and they're solo, it's, you know, very straightforward. They get, you know, something from a producer and then that they have their mindset. What's your guys' process like together working to produce music? Um, it usually starts instrumentally with the beat. So I make most of our mm-hmm. most of our material. And I'll send a bunch of, like, different kind of snippets to Jamil. And then he'll kind of pick something that he vibes with and choose a direction, like, lyrically. Because mm-hmm. I can't write to something I've, I've just kind of made. Yeah. So... It all goes to Jamil. Lyrically, he kind of leads it. Then I'll bring it back to Chez, and then yeah. do a little dummy recording at his house. Then, uh, then Chez will write something to it and bring a it back lot to of my back house. And forth. Then it goes to like our guitar player if we want any like live instrumentation on top of that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's a lot of back and forth. What's the Perth music scene like right now? I've been away for a little while and coming back, and I feel like you know what I'm getting is this very vibrant side. I'm speaking to people from Melbourne and Sydney, and they're going like Perth has really kind of got it going on. To you, for you guys, you know, being in, in really amongst it, what's it like for a young artist right now in Perth? There, there is opportunity. Like, mm-hmm. it's not... Uh, there, there's opportunity. There's finally, like, a bit of a crowd for it. It's mm-hmm. got a really... The band scene and whatnot has a really, like... You feel a sense of community. Yeah. And um, there's a small... There's a group of people that actually want to go and attend gigs. And that's kind of like permeating through to like electronic artists, rap artists, R&B artists. Mm-hmm. They're starting to build that that too. There's there's something here now. It's yeah, it's good to see. Yeah, you guys got uh, Pink Gelato played on MTV. Um, what was that like for you guys? The the, the 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 video clip I love as well. Like you guys nailed that one. What was that like moment for you guys? That was crazy. To yeah. be honest, yeah, I was just chilling. Yeah, be honest with me. I don't want you like cool, be calm, honest. and collected. Like yeah, it was I. It was mostly because, like, I found out from my my boss's wife, like, I'm just chilling, like, <laughs> I was thinking I was making cookies or something at home, and then I just get a text, he's like, holy crap, Yeah. <laughs> why are you on the TV? <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> so you guys didn't know that that was about to happen? No, we were um, working with a publicist at the time, and, like, some communication got stuffed, and, like, we didn't, we just didn't know. Yeah. Um, we also got it added to we got a rage out as well so nice. all on top of that that was cool to tell, my, tell my mum about you know right because they get rage you know what I mean like we you grew up with rage yeah you had to pay for MTV so <laughs> yeah. we didn't get MTV but, we didn't uh, have MTV at my house that's for sure <laughs> yeah so MTV we kind of found out in like a nice little surprising way like people send us photos of us on TV like, yeah oh, okay. all right, cool. nice yeah. interest free is the new track um, talk to me about what that's about you know as a your, your most recent release I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a, but basically I was just chilling with Chez, he played this beat, and then I like, we're just sort of like vibing to it, and then in my head I was just thinking to myself, it's just like, new coat, but she got it on zip pay, and then uh, I, I just had that idea, and then Chez just ran with it, next time I saw him he had a verse, he had a hook, there were detuned vocals, there was the house <laughs> on the hills, I just, I just went with it, like sometimes I just need an idea to bounce off, but why were you thinking of zip pay? We just got off a tour. Yeah, we had just got gone over tour. Self-funded easy- tour, and some of us had to fund flights. The easiest way to get around this country. Yeah. Zip pay those flights, man. Yeah. Because <laughs> we brought the band over, so there were a few that had to get over. Oh, so some yeah. some had to, you know, hit the zip pay option on the checkout. Some some booked the flight like two nights before. Yeah. Was that the percussion section? No, one, or one, night <laughs> yeah. one night before. One night before. So. Um, so you guys are out on tour, you, you, you're doing the shows, is there is there one show particular for each of you that stands out as like, we fucking nailed it? Which was the best one? Melbourne. Out, of, out of the tour? You, you, yeah, oh, well, well, let's just go overall, overall. not even out of this tour, is there one Ooh. show that you guys have performed, and it doesn't have to be the same, you know what I mean, everyone feels like maybe that they had a better yeah, show absolutely. here, a better show there, but one, and, and, and why you think it was, you know, your, your best show? 
Um, I think it was our last release a couple weeks ago at the Bird for interest free. Yeah, that, that was just the highest energy we've ever ever performed at. Lots it, of energy. It was mm-hmm. yeah. everything was on point. We went wild with it. Yeah, we went really wild with it. <laughs> energy coming back from the audience or energy oh. you guys felt putting out? I think we put out so much they had no choice. Yeah. It had to. It had to. Yeah, it had to come back. It definitely came back. <laughs> so no, it did come back. So we're gonna see that energy at Platform come next week. Correct. I want. I want that. If if you've got that energy in there, it needs to be there. There will be sweat. Yeah, it's there will be sweat. And then music wise, you guys like in the process of putting together a project. What's what's kind of moving forward for you guys? Early stages of a project. Yeah. Yeah. A few singles and stronger tracks have emerged, but because a few have, we're kind of taking our time. Maybe it's a project. Do you feel pr- any pressure to re- to actually? create a body of work whether it be an ep an album whatever it is track a um whatever you wanted to decide on do you feel any pressure to do that or is it just like ah we'll just do singles and just keep moving like that i really uh personally like i just want people to hear it Mm. so if it's you know if it's a, you have to put, like work the single and put a video behind it and everything like that i mean the whole process is fun yeah but i mean if that's the way that it that there it gets is, the people there is a bit of a pressure having to do it kind of that way because mm-hmm. we're at the stage we don't have a, a huge audience and not a lot of you know artists at that stage do and there is a pressure to kind of do it right mm-hmm. you know what i mean your you know your idea may never get heard that's a scary thought yeah but it also it fuels you in a way mm. as well it's kind of a mm. Well, in the way that we also, that we digest and take in music these days, there's so much music out there. Just because the song hasn't taken off in the first year or two years, whatever, it's your, your fans will come back to those things when they find out. And there's so many examples of that happening where, you know, you look at, um, you look at Lizzo, who has just absolutely blown up. Everyone's listening to her tracks from four years ago yeah. thinking they're brand new. Hmm. So, in that instance, you know, I wouldn't like you don't you don't stress about those things. Yeah, but it, it you can hear in your sound right now that you guys are really putting everything into each song. Yeah, 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 yeah I get that. There's no filler. Yeah, absolutely nothing. The no. filler it just doesn't get heard. Yeah, it doesn't come out. It doesn't come out. I mean, as as well, it's kind of freeing. Like once you sort of like like get rid of sort of an ego with your music and sort of realize that your ideas are sort of like disposable. Mm-hmm. So so that way you're on to the next thing. And I think as well, a lot of the time, like I find like with, with some of the songs we have to make, produce, you know, go back and forth over a song and complete that song to move on to the next one and for the next one to be better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, mate, we are, we're both, we're super excited to have you a part of Platform uh, Volume 2 at Jackrabbit Slims on October 11th. Make sure uh, your set is that energy level that you talked about, because that's what everyone wants to see. We're so not, we're not liars. <laughs> <laughs> Be man of man of your word. Yeah. Well, thanks that's for sitting down with us, guys. I appreciate it. That'll work. For thanks sure. so much. Of course. Great stuff. That's cool. Love yeah. it. Great job, guys. Oh, thank you for. Uh...